And now it's time to take a look at our, our network adapters so that we can see what's the next step to do. So we basically, we're gonna put in the command IP address or IP ADDR and see what our IP address is and see if we picked up an IP address on the network. So here goes, IP ADDR. And you can see that I have a loopback adapter, LO, that's number one, number two, ENP0S3, and number three, ENP0S8. And ENP0S3 is like Ethernet 0, and ENP0S8 is like Ethernet 1. Now, um, those do not show IP addresses, so we're gonna have to configure those if we wanna get, um, get the Ethernet, uh, uh, get Ethernet up. So let's take a look here. Um, what I'll do is I'll hit the control key to escape my mouse. And we can try to bring up ENP0S3 and see what happens. However, as you can see, it, it didn't really pick up uh, an address. So we, let's try it anyway. All right, so we'll say um, if up, interface up, ENP0S3. We'll try that. All right, connection successful. I'll put in the IP address command again. And it looks like I picked up an IP address on my local network, perfect. So now I have an IP address. So I'll just test it, see if I can ping Yahoo. And I can, wonderful. So now that I have that set up, I can set up my other network adapter. And to do that, so see what we did was we just did this, we brought up the interface and it looked good. Next thing you know, we can manually edit these network um, configurations by going into the root etc sysconfig network scripts folder. And then we could basically uh, set them up. And that's what I'm gonna do next. So let's do that. So we'll go here and we'll say change directory into root etc sysconfig and network dash scripts. And I'll put in an ls command and you can see that there are a bunch of scripts there in green, but then in gray, you can see at the first file is if config ENP 0s3. So that's what we want to edit. So to edit that, I'm going to use VI and I'll put in the name of the file that I want to edit. And I'm in there. So now I'll press I to go into insert mode and I'm gonna change some of these settings. So the settings I'm going to change are, let's see here, I'm gonna say on boot, yes, I want this to turn on on boot. And then, um, let's see here, network manager underscore controlled, I'm going to make that equal to no. All right, that looks good. And let's see here. Type ethernet, that looks good. I could put in my MAC address here, but I don't have to. Those are the main things. So you can see here on my settings, on my instructions, I wanna make sure the device is ENP0S3. I can give it a MAC address if I want to, um, or tell it what my MAC address is. I can find that in the settings in the virtual machine settings, if I go in to settings and under network and adapter, I can find the MAC address right here under the network adapter settings right here for the virtual machine settings, basically. But I think changing network, uh, network uh, manager control to no and on boot to yes, we already have the boot proto set to DHCP, which is good. And I think that that's all we need. All right, perfect. Okay, so now that we have that, I'll just 
let's see here. I'll say escape colon WQ to write and quit and hit enter. So now I have that edited. If I want to take a look at it, I can cat it out. And you can see that it has the settings that I set up. So that's perfect. I'm happy with that. Now before I do anything else, I'm going to install a few tools that I, that'll be easy to work with um, for the video. So I'll use yum and I'll install nano. Y and enter to accept. I'm going to also install VIM just to make sure I have the latest version of VI. I'm basically going to install all of these tools right here. So let's see here. I'll install wget openssh and iptables-services. All right, perfect. I'm going to also install net tools, net dash tools. And bridge dash utils. Now I'm not sure if OpenSSH installed, so let's take a look at that. Um, already installed and latest version, nothing to do. So that looks good. All right, perfect. So now in my instructions is where I actually tell everyone to install the second network adapter but we already have that second network adapter set up. So basically, we can just go ahead and edit it. Now, in this earlier version of my instructions, basically what happened was, when you looked in this folder and you did an ls command, I'll type clear and then ls, you didn't see the file if config or if cfg-enp0s8 but you can see it clearly now right you can see that it's it's um it's clearly right there right so we can just edit it so that's what i'm going to do so this time i'll do it with nano so i'll say nano let's edit if config dash enp0s8 and there it is so we're going to change a few settings here. So on boot, we'll change it to yes. Um, the name is fine. Type Ethernet. All right, I don't necessarily need all the IPv6 stuff. So I could get rid of those if I wanted to. Let's see here, network manager controlled equals no, on boot is yes. Boot protocol, boot proto, I'm going to set that to none. We don't want DHCP running on this interface. Instead, what we want on this interface is IP ADDR equals 172.16.1.1 and I, I misspelled that so you got to make sure you have it spelled correctly there you go the net mask which is our subnet mask 
I'm going to make that equal to 255.255.255.0. All right. And everything else looks good. I'm not going to add the MAC address or mess with anything else. As long as it's working, that's fine. I do not need the IPv6 stuff. So I could, if I wanted to, I could delete that. Maybe I will. So I'm not using IPv6 in this. All right, perfect. So I'll do uh, Control X to exit, Y to save, and Enter to s accept the file name. And let's see if it comes up. If up, ENP0S8. All right, didn't balk. Now that we installed also, when we installed, uh, previously we installed with yum net tools, now I can also not only do IP address and see what the IP address is, or IP ADDR, um, which you can see under number three here is 172.16.1.1, so that's excellent. But I can also now type if config because I installed net tools and um, if config is now deprecated, but it's an oldie but a goodie, so that's kind of good. So I like that. Um, also, if I if you need to, you could run a service network restart if you feel like you need to restart your network services. So with both IP addresses configured, it looks pretty good. It looks like we've um, finished part two. And now it's on to part three.